Um, actually, helicopters. I've started flying remote control helicopters. Oh. Um, which I'd say I'm not very good at, and I've crashed them many a time, so I'm very good at buying spare parts. Do you collect anything interesting, or what are your favorite things to collect? Um, favorite things to collect? I went through a period where I collected watches, um, you know, for, for guys, you know, it's really the only kind of jewelry or something you can wear, so uh, watches was, was definitely a, a big collection thing. And what does your racing helmet come from? What's the origin of it? Um, racing helmets typically for people that design them, you know, it, it starts at a young age, you know, mine's kind of evolved a little bit, but it was the same sort of design when I was about 10 or 11. <coughs> kind of incorporate, you know, a little bit of uh, New Zealand history. It's got some Maori carving designs in the background with the silver and black, uh, staying key to the All Blacks and, and uh, national, you know, rugby team. Uh, it's got the New Zealand flag on there. Um, I've done some pretty cool ones, especially for the Indy 500 last year, uh, where it had a Maori face design and, and uh, you know, just, just more heritage cool. stuff. What was your best subject in school? My best subject in school was actually maths, maths and science. I was I just scraped, scraped through on English um, and, and passed, I passed all my uh, exams, but, but math and science were, were definitely uh, my, my key sort of push through subjects in graphics and design too. Who did you idolize? Uh, the, the, the person or driver I idolized, um, I think the, the, the first was, was Nelson Piquet, um, and then uh, obviously when Senna became more dominant and, and uh, you know it's funny when you're young you kind of just latch on to the people that do really well and, sure. and uh, Senna was you know could do some amazing things for the car so you know Senna was, was definitely my idol and uh, you know he had uh, far too short life but, but uh, it was pretty cool. This is the car that you won in. I think so. Yeah. Do you remember the race? Uh, ooh, there was quite a few actually in, the, in this paint scheme, but it was probably Watkins Glen was the last time it was run in a G-Force. Okay. So, yeah. What was your first trophy? Oh, my first trophy? Um, probably when I was about seven in go-karts maybe, and I, I, I probably didn't even get it for finishing on the podium. It was probably like, you know, uh, I don't even know what it was for, you know, best effort or something. <laughs> It probably wasn't for winning a race. So what do you What do you like best about the new car? You probably you might have issues with, but what are you most interested in about the new design? The thing I love about the new car is that it's actually a new car. You know, we've kind of been stuck in time a little bit. Um, you know, it's been eight or nine years since we've had a, a new car. But you know, I think it's it's uh, the engine manufacturers. Uh, obviously, we're still driving for Honda. Um, but you know, having Honda, Chevy, Lotus, uh, you know, I think that's all exciting. Having manufacturers come back in makes a lot of changes. Sure. I think once we get into 2013 and, and the body kit will change and the cars will look quite unique, there's so many cool things about the new car and, and it's just because, you know, over that period of time there's so many cooler things that you can have. Sure. Um, but having turbo engines back I think is, is, is a big deal, you know, for fans and for, for the drivers.